Hi guys and welcome back to episode 22 of the Rain series. In the previous episode, we uh, smacked around through Factory a bit. And in this episode, I want to go and I think it'll be our first episode going to Reserve. So uh, there's a heap of tasks I want to get done over there. So let's start focusing on that. So without further ado, let's crack straight into it. All right, so first up, let's get our dailies sorted. Now we've got prepper, uh, eliminate scavs using SMGs and shotguns. So let's start with that one. This is an SVD with 7,000 XP, it's not bad. Um, survive two shorelines. Let's see if we can replace that one, see what comes up. Uh, then we've got hand over of fleece, which we can craft and hand over two pom-poms. I think we'll keep an eye out for the pom-poms and I think we should just be able to craft the fleece. So go to the hideouts and this is one of the benefits of having your hideout upgraded. And here we go here, we type the fleece, we buy four of these. And in 43 minutes, we can hand that over. So. Now, one of the comments that we, I noticed from the previous uh, episodes was that you wanted me to modify guns more. So. Uh, if you want me to modify guns, I'll modify guns for you. So the way I would do this is pretty much that. I don't really like putting suppressors on it unless I have to. It's a bit of a waste of money. Uh, you don't have to use this one. Delta Point actually works quite well too. Um, I had a preset like that. You need Workbench Level 1 to do this. Assemble. And we have now a modified shotgun. Uh, we could have put an 8-round mag in. That's probably the only difference there. Uh, we'll repair that now. Let's see. Uh, for this map, we don't have. I'm gonna take that armor. That's better. I might actually sell that. It would be nice to have a little bit more money. Um, I'm just trying to think about what's the best way of us getting that money. Uh, the, the main thing I'm trying, I'm thinking about here is I don't really want to have to, um, keep switching out the keys through different containers. So, uh, all right. So one of the things to do, if you want to sell quickly, get out your sorting table, hold shift, and then you pretty much just, uh, left click all the stuff you want to sell. Um, I'm going to keep the items that I know we need for quests. Uh, the drops we kind of want to hold on to. Now oh, we need rep rats. We might already pass the quest, but just to be safe. Um, toothpaste do go up in value sometimes. That should get us to where I want to go. But then when you close the sorting table, it'll be like that. And then we just got to do a little bit of quick sell up here. So I won't bore you with this, but um, maybe like we'll just zoom past this. It's need enough money to buy a couple of keys and also a docs case. So I need about, I'm guessing I need about 400K. Cool, so now that everything is sold, the items I'm after is another docks case, which is 275. The barter trade probably would have been cheaper, but I'm just gonna be lazy. Uh, I'm gonna label this one reserve, even though it will probably get used for other keys. <clears throat> but we'll put our reserve and 
I oh know, let's just put all the other keys in there for now. That way it's all nice and tidy. Now if we've got any other keys down here. Nope. Okay, cool. And then we want RBKSM as well. So flea market. RB-KS. Cool. Last but not least, I, I still want to keep working on making sure that hideout is upgrading. So... The order was to get the water collector to level two, then we could get lavatory level three. So uh, these are the items we need. We need three of these. One, two, three. And it's very important we try and get these done as quickly as possible. One. But as quickly as possible is like we keep upgrading it every day. Uh, so then we can get our Bitcoin farm going. Get two of these. Last but not least. Six of these. One. One, two, three, four, four, five, five, six. Cool. All right, so that's now upgrading. So, uh, and that will lead into getting the nutrition level three. So we need a laboratory three for that. So that's all sorted there. Uh, and we definitely need to get security done, which was by getting illumination done first. So now we just got to get all these items. So. 40 plus, I'm guessing about 60, not 40, that's 80, plus 60 is 140, uh, 240, so about 380, hey, we need. All right, so uh, as for loadout, now we're going to reserve, so you don't really need to take a backpack into reserve, it, it, it's one of those maps where sometimes it's better to not have a backpack um, and then if you get one in there, sweet. But if not, you can always take the no backpack extract. So let's start off with no backpack and see how we go. We have a few things to do there. We have a lot of markings to do. So our safe corridor is to kill scabs underneath. Bunker, we just got to go into the bunker. Disease history, we've got to pick up some items. And then uh, do we have revision yet? No, we don't. Okay, cool. So that's pretty much it we have for now. But we need the reason why we're trying to get sorry bunker done is we need to get proper to the next level and we need to get rep for that so uh, i don't really want to go into customs just to kill scavs i don't want to go to woods just to kill scavs bunker is 0.03 rep um for just going to a location so we can get that done and uh that's probably going to be the easiest and then we'll go to the streets but we can go get for example our disease history done at the same time so multiple things at the same time and we have one Jaeger task as well to go to reserve and just go to this spot, which will give us all these items that we can use for uh, selling. So let's get into reserve. Apparently it's raining. All right, so a few tasks. Oh, three man, one. What a joke. What a joke. GG. So there's that is, the spawn I had then is the worst spawn because there's three there's sorry, there's a spawn to your left to the bunker to the left, and there's a spawn to the right in this like shack thing. And everyone knows that you got you're gonna be spawning where I did. So all they had to do is run for a little bit forward, look to the right, and then just you know, there's I think we're going to the full, full geared three man. There's not really much skill involved in having to kill some Timmy like me with a with a shotgun stuck it, you know. I was just going to go prone and then try and hide in the bunker and wait for them to come to me. There's no other situation I would have been able to survive on that. All right. Uh, gear again. So that, 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 and that. Luckily, we have a bit of gear up our sleeve. We didn't take our, uh, our keys with us anyway, so... Now we have them. Um, and then ammo. Cool. Born in, go again. If we die, we can just go into a uh, scav run. All right. So, microphone's back working. Um, we've spawned near the train station end. But at this point in time, Glucker only spawns, the scab boss only spawns in this building here.
And our first task for Jaeger is to go into the bunker down here. Now we have a task, I believe, that we have to kill 10 scabs down here. Sometimes you'll get like five to spawn very quickly, and then other times you'll spend a whole raid here and none will spawn. So just bear with that. Uh, for the food shortage or whatever it's called, you just go over to this section. Reserve. Done. Um, if you wanted scavs to spawn here, say you were going to camp this quest, kill the scavs. I would usually just sit about here. For your barrel, make sure, sure it goes over the bottom. Uh, and for this one, it is... Not safe corridor. Oh, it is safe corridor. So yeah, 10 scavs in this area. So if they go outside the doorways on the left or the right, they will not count. Um, we're not going to stay here. I'll just show you what I would do if I wanted to get it done quicker. Now, the four cages in this area. There's a door there. There's one on both sides. Door there. Another door here. And there's a door just on that side uh, on both sides. Uh, these four cages are extremely OP. So, overpowered. So, if you want to get uh, medical food or technical supply crates, you can come down here. If you do it as like a duo or trio, you can fill a huge backpack or two of you, two of you can fill your backpacks to completion and then have another person run off to hit the hermetic door button and then you just run out the ramp on that side and then you're at the extract. Reserve has very different extracts to a lot of the other maps and it's a little bit more difficult. Um, yeah, it's... So th these are the doors here, right? Alright, so our next task we're going to focus on is getting the uh, two folders from the medical building. And then we're going to head down into the bunker, which is where everyone is, is now. So Reserve never had an underground section. Like, they had this bit here. But there's a full underground bunker system on, on, on this, this side of the map over here. That's the medical building there. That we're going to go into. And there's, they're all connected. All the buildings on this side of the map are all connected underneath. And uh, the bunker down the bottom goes out towards the tower. And then into uh, an extract over there. You need the power on four. So majority of people will usually go out of that extract. And a lot of the fighting happens down there because there's tasks to go kill raiders under there. There's a bunker task we're about to do. All those good things. So... Those that have used for regulated materials, a task a little bit later on. Now, these remember this layout, right? There's the doors like this. If you see this door open, or that both those doors open. Know someone's been here. Just in case you're worried about someone camping upstairs or not. Mm -hmm. The item we're after is this one. Usually plenty of meds in here. SJ6 is good for us if we want to run out. So SJ6 increases your maximum stamina and, and the rate at which you regen your stamina, so... I use them a lot on my main account. Like, I'm talking every raid, I'll, I'll use an SJ6. Alright, so from here we're going to go down into the bunker. Hopefully survive. The scav killing daily is for uh, prepper, so we want to try and get this done. <coughs> so 
Sorry. Alright, so you hear the audio change a little bit. Raiders will spawn anyway from here all the way out through the rest of the bunker. Raiders are like scanners on crack. Jacked up. There's someone down here. I don't normally go this way, but I thought it'd just be something different, you know? Hello? It's me. Boy, ping that. Right, that's all we need to do in here. So we're going to leave now. Back out the way we came. I hear someone. I guess he was going to shoot at me. I just started pretty straight away and ran. And now, our entire raid is to get to the extract. Now, we have no backpack, so therefore, I'm going to take us to the no backpack extract. Amazing how that works. We've now got the SJ6 stim underway. Someone's turned the power on and is already extracted through D2. So, the, the lights were on down there, and that means the power's on. When it goes green on D2, that means someone's actually gone to the extract. It doesn't always mean that someone's gone out of the extract, but they've at least activated the extract in the tunnel. So you could, you're going to be worried about someone camping down there still, but it means that there's a potential that they've actually left the map as well. But it's a good way of knowing if you don't go down to the bottom, that the power is on. I think I just heard someone to my right then too, so... And that's been seven minutes, so we won't get the run through. And bam. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. So, three, three tasks done. Just like that. Only 540 XP for going through it, but we got a bit of a uh, bit of XP out of it. Now, the next task we can do for Prapper, and by the way, for the pathing, we, all we did was run around the map. We ran straight into the bunker pit. Cross to the meds thing, straight down to the other bunker, and then out. Nothing too crazy. Pretty much just a straight line through our objectives, and then out. Now, with bunker, there'll be a bunker part two. I believe we should have the level to do it. Uh, this one will get us to the next level of prepper, which would be nice. We need to hand over the disease stuff for the therapist. And then we have reserve for there. So. This is a really, really, really annoying task where we have to kill scabs in a specific area of um, reserve called pest control. And you need to get this task to get the task to kill Glocka, the scab boss. It's actually really frustrating to get this one done. So we have the option now. We could go into streets and do you got mail. That will get us the rep required. Or we can go back into uh, reserve and try and get our um, to, the, to the three bunkers. So. I personally like the idea of going streets for the fact that um, we can try and get the scav kills done at the same time. So we've got you got mail, population census as well, and audit. So this is in the uh, the finance building. Uh, this is across the road from um, that. Oh my god, my brain's not working. From the from the post office, and uh, yeah, obviously we had the post office. Or you got map, so we can leave the pistol here, go to our daily, eliminate any map, 15 scavs using an SMG or shotgun. So let's get that done. I'm gonna chuck these down here for now. 
food. And that's the vendor, really. Cool. All right, let's get into a streets raid. Oh, we don't need the... Uh, well, we don't need to, to get more keys and stuff. I know you guys want to see modded guns, but let me get let me get past this quest. I want to do more like PvP with modded guns. I, I, I can't really mod out a shotgun more than just putting a sight on it and making the mag bigger. So I have noted it. It's something I will work for towards to show you guys. Now remember, we need to get, um, let's go to the vendor. We need to get the money for the vent upgrade or whatever it was. Need a little bit more. All right, so streets, let's go. All right, so. Now, Streets is probably my favorite map. And I've definitely become very accustomed to where everything is on it. I still learn stuff all the time, of course, but... I'm loving it. I'm McLovin' it. What a slogan, eh? I'm McLovin' it. And turning right... Right, most of the stuff that we need to do is in this area right here. Keep going. I'm gonna pick up the key that I should show you guys. That key's right here. It's on the way to our quest, so we might as well grab it. Now this key spawns here every raid. You might as well take advantage of that. Need it for a quest. Alright, population sensors will be in this building here. We should have brought a backpack for this raid. That's my bad. There's a lot of filing cabinets in here. There's multiple spawns so where this uh, item will be. You just gotta look around till you find it. Can be on the top floor as well. There it is. Cool. Item number one. Now there's only one way in and out of that building too, so just be wary of that. If someone knows you're in there, you will most likely be pinned. We'll head over... You got mail? This building here. We should have damage houses, so uh, here we got damage house. So this can be. Lots of spots. Someone just opened a duffel bag. Being like these drawers and these shelves.
Uh, we got in a really crappy spot. I got stuck trying to run out of the room, so there was like a box on the ground, and I couldn't, like... That was really atrocious movement, but... We killed one really good player, and there was a second good one. Man, I think it was a duo. But we definitely ruined their day. Level 31. Look at that damage. I only shot the two of them. Yeah, I didn't shoot at anyone else. That last guy was nearly dead. I think if we got one, one more hit, he probably would have died. But the worst part about that is, it sounded like he was in front of me. But he was behind me. And then the other guy... <laughs> I only was lucky enough to see because I was him through the door, the glass. So... Yeah. It's hard. When, when there's duos, it is always really difficult because... This game is a bit of a coin flip with a lot of fights and you got to hope you do the right thing and, and win the fight. And then if they've got a second person, it's very easy for a duo to overwhelm a single player. Um, for example, I wasn't at full health then. Like if I had one more, if I had full health in my chest, it might've taken him an extra bullet to get the kill on me. And that would have been the difference between him dying because I would have been able to get one more shot off, for example. Not saying I would have won the fight if, uh, if it was like, if I had full health, but there was a chance that it would have improved my chances. So when you start now, don't be afraid to do some squad play just to uh, get your confidence up a bit more. But I think you guys enjoy watching me lose a fight every now and then. So if anything, this series shows you how much I lose fights anyway. All right, we need an SMG now. SMG. Gonna have to be the one. Oh, I'm gonna make a preset for this. This is my baby. Uh, where is the... Oh. We want that one. Cool. Save as... Umpy. I'm going to call you Umpy. All right. Now we do need a rig for this. I might as well take a backpack. This used to be my go-to for the longest time. I actually don't think it's that good anymore. I don't really know what's good though. At this level. It's class four still. It is strong. It is strong. It is strong. I might just keep going it. Alright, so that. We need a helmet. So now if I ever want to get like another UMP, I can literally buy a stock UMP, go there, click open and click umpy on the side here and I'll load up this preset. That's why I did that. All right, we need some mags. One, two, three, four. Uh, and then ammo for this gun is the FMJ. We'll just get 300. And we'll never run out. All right, we go again. Well, there's that. There's that beautiful pilgrim backpack. I think we might have passed it already. Or it might be so good part one, actually. The level 25, we need that pilgrim backpack, so we should hold on to that. All right, back to the streets where I belong. Let's go. All right. Here we go again. So we're going to be starting on the other side now. So we'll run across to... I'm not going to go to check 15, but we're going to go to... Um, the order place again. And we'll just be coming in from the other side of it. Just 
a scab, but... Obviously, he hates me. Yeah, the scab went inside. Come here, boy. A probital? Man, that would have been a good last road. I see Jen. I was going to say, generally around here, there's usually a lot of scams at the start of a raid. Ah, oh, the scab boss is up, I think. Could probably go for it. Yeah, Scabbles is definitely up. Who's there? Another one down here. I'm just trying to get all these scams out of the way. This is where in hardcore I got overwhelmed so much. I'll just go inside here real quick. It's nice just to keep these mags topped up. Now that aim drill, we got a level in aim drills just before. That is leveled by uh, shooting and hitting a target uh, within like one or two seconds of ADSing. So aiming down your sight. So if you want to level up your aim drills, that's kind of how it works. Don't actually remember what it does though. It was added more recently. Increases aiming speed and reduces uh, the sound of aiming. I don't know. Apparently. Apparently. <sighs> well, we got a few scab kills already. Keep it going, I guess. Five. Five to go. Very tend to go. All right, there's a level in mag drills. Could have been a player, but I don't think it was. Another SJ6. So, um, the good thing about this ammo, it's super cheap to buy and it does a lot of damage. So killing scavs and, and, and players is really good. If you see a really, really geared player, just aim for their legs. It's the way to win the fight. It'll cut them up super quick. We could loot these guys real quick. <clears throat> I need that for a quest. Alright, so, keep heading towards our objective. 
Probably get some more scabs over there too, which would be nice. That big battle going down with the uh, scab boss. Um, I'm, I'm not too phased going there either way. I kind of... I know we had that big raid episode 10. Um, I haven't really heard much shooting since we went there. I think that was a player or a player scan. Journal. There it is. Cool. Objective number one. Anyone who's seen hardcore has seen how much this series has been a pain. comes to scabs overwhelming me. Not there. I don't believe it spawns on this side. I can't remember. So you got mail, yep. Looks like he's up there. Not a really smart place to sit. I should really go back inside. Just switch this around. River and damage house are our extracts. And we have five to go. Oh, actually, I don't want to go that way because if they go on the grenade launcher, we're dead. So. Should be able to get some scabs on the other side of this building.
Yeah, the scab boss is 100% up. We want to go for that scab boss. We have to go a long way, but I almost feel like it's worth it. It gives so much XP. It's not teaching the right thing. All right, so the right thing right now would be get your quest done and get out. If you purely want to have fun, I would highly recommend going for the scab boss. I think I should really put the focus on getting out of this raid alive. With our three quest items. been here. The safes are all looted. We'll go upstairs for our quest item. This one. I do have a grenade. <sighs> we'll just have a sticky beak, alright? Just, just a small look. Suss out the area. See what's going on. Nothing too crazy. Make a not get on D from there. This is the XA six working it straight. We're going to get overwhelmed. That's the biggest issue. We're so late in the raid that players got to be spawning in. So even if we do get in there, because there could be players just sitting in there at the moment. That's going to be our biggest issue. We'll give it a go. Oh, they're all still up. Well, looks like it's on like Donkey Kong. I've gotten a lot more efficient at doing this though, so let's uh, reload this mag. I think uh, the uh, UMP might be really good for this because the issue we're going to run into is the guys with the face shields, but outside of that, we should... That do some pretty serious damage pretty quick. Alright. We're going to run into issues. Oh, 
Пойда ну нафиг! Кройся! Someone's been here because the sniper scabs are dead. But someone's been shooting scabs here. We've killed two of the ground ones. This one does, is just normal scab. That's not what's Gavin here. I think it is. Need to go on a 50 cal to reset. Well, oh, that was dangerous. That's two. Three. Heard him. Armor is heavily damaged now. <sighs> These might be normal scabs running at me. Yeah, it is. I've done this a lot now. Ninety percent sure the boss is there. That's one of the last guards, I think. So the issue I did right there is I knew that guy was coming and I, st I stood way too out in the open. I, I, was, I was heaps more in the open. I moved it a little back, back in. I need to be more to the right. It was good XP and we got the daily done. So still 10,000 XP. But yeah. There would have been a dead player on the other side or in that middle area. I don't know. We were all over the place. Six hits. That's how quick they'll hit you six times. And yet, with an A's valve, bam, just pulled it dead. All thorax too. That sucks. That was the last guard. After that, the boss is easy. I've got the boss on farm now, so. <sighs> all right. So, unfortunately, we got the uh, we we died on the on the boss. So we have to get all three of those items again. But we did get the daily done at least. That's kind of where my mind was like, well, if we get the daily done. You know, that's still rep for, for our boy, you know? It's real, still rep. And then we can complete that. And we have now shaking up Teller. You know, so... Two stones with the one bird, you know? All right, but that does mean this is the end of the episode. Um, I'm going to sell this, this uh, SVD. For 93,000. 
And I really do want to get, um, I really do want to get to the next, uh, next, uh, upgrade on the, on the hideout. So let's see how far off we are. Uh, security events. I got the fleece here. Got the daily. It was security. Eight of these. One. Four. One, two, three, 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 four, four, two, one, two, and eight. Eight fours, 32. You would have enough. And over the fleece. Yeah, there's 55k there. Ooh, might be getting close. Well, some of this. Oh, if we sell these water filters, we've got it. 35. Cool. Um, old. All right, security will be done. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Done. All right, that is it for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, fortunately, we died at the end, which kind of sucks, but you know, well, you win one, you lose one, you know? So, uh, yeah, much love. Thanks for the uh, support, as always. Uh, make sure you like and comment for the YouTube algorithm. Share the race series with your friends. If you've got some new friends that are joining the Escape from Tarkov binge, uh, make sure you share content with them uh, and say hi to your partners for me. All right, much love. And uh, lastly, I'll see you next time.